Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Courtney, and for today's makeup tutorial, makeup look, I'm going to... I was inspired, I'm always inspired, by Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. She had such an iconic look. It was a focus that she had long blonde hair that she would keep pulled back, so I did a little bit of an inspiration from that. Um, not a lot on the eye, maybe some mascara, and she was known for that bold red lip. Um, no color on the nails. She had a minimalist, um, really chic look to her fashion. She was so classic. She's an icon of mine for her makeup style and her fashion. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to do a, a look inspired by the late, great Carolyn Bissette Kennedy. Okay. <clears throat> Matchbox primerizer. Um, I don't know what I did before finding this product. <laughs> Cat here. Oh my god! Every time, as soon as I start my makeup, a cat hair floats and lands right in my wet eyeball. And then Lumi Glotion. Probably, guys are probably really sick of seeing this over and over and over again, but when I find something I like, stick with it. Ugh, look how pretty that is. And it goes right, it mixes so well into your foundation. I use uh, MAC Face and Body, so it's pretty thin light coverage foundation so you can either ooh, let's do that let's mix a little bit I already put as you saw the lotion but I'm gonna mix a little bit into my foundation it'll sheer it out a little bit but it will also add in a little bit more luminosity which I can't get enough of oh, so pretty Ooh, man. So, I love that. I love mixing... Oh, I love mixing foundations and um, luminosity and luminous products in with foundation. Uh, I didn't get it yet. It's gonna hurt in a little bit. I just know it. My cat hair. Concealer. That darker one, I'll just throw on with my fingertip, pat that in, because that goes, that covers more area, so I don't need to use a brush with that. Now with a small brush, just to brighten under those bags. I'll use that lighter color. Much better. And that was Studio Finish Conceal by MAC. I like more of a full coverage underneath my eyes because I just want the I just want that to be covered. So I don't want to build up too much texture under there. So the hourglass loose powder veil. Which is super nice because it just sets the makeup, it doesn't add texture or coverage. But it'll keep your makeup in place. I have had one of those periods. I get them like every other period is just horrible. It like fucks with my head and my body. Ugh, so I'm not feeling great. But it should be over soon. Max Sculpt. This look is all about the skin and lips, so spend a little bit more time in those areas. This is the 188 brush from MAC. I just put that contour wherever I want to sculpt out the face a little bit more. Small fluffy brush. Just add a little contour under the eye as well. 
This look really isn't about a lot of liner, it's just sculpting the face. And then that bold red lip. I'm gonna use that sculpting powder in Bone Beige. I really like this one because it's a bit warmer than the sculpt that I used on my skin and it helps bring out your eye color in a very subtle way. Small circles back and forth. I put the product onto my brush and then I'll tap off the excess so it doesn't fall. If you do have uh, issues with fallout from eyeshadows, you can always do your foundation afterwards and then you can just wipe it away. You don't have to worry about disrupting what all everything that you just did. Bronzer. Marc Jacobs. You can tap a little bit off on your wrists just to kind of push the product in. So when you first do that swipe, not all that product goes directly onto your skin and then it's hard to blend out. And I always start towards the back because I want the color to fade from a darker application to a lighter application. It's all about the brushes. If you have a good brush set, probably like five or six good brushes, you can do a whole face and you don't have to work so hard at, to get to the look that you want. I just did my hair last night. I bleached my own hair. <laughs> and um, so it comes up, I just use bleach. I think I used like 20 developer and then the blue flash um, bleach. So it always comes out super yellow <laughs> and no toner that I've ever found takes away that that yellow cast. So I mix a little bit of Manic Panic Violet in with my conditioner, like a, like one to four ratio, just in the palm of my hand. I put that on and I rinse it out pretty quick, but I always get now this, like the Old Lady Purple cast, which I am fine with. But it fades in a few days, so I'm not trying to go for a violet look. Just trying to tone my hair. Uh, when you're balling on a budget. Did that browse? Bleached those two the other day. So now I'm. I just run a little bit of the color through because I I want to keep that light look but it's the tail end that I need to make sure is there, but not too dark. There's that. A blush. NARS Orgasm with that same brush, the 188 brush. This is such a, a good brush because it's like firmer at the bottom. Was I just cross-eyed? And then the hairs that are actually touching the skin are placed so perfectly, so it picks up just a little bit and applies just a little bit, so it's easy to build up without going overboard. And I just threw that on top of everything and a little bit onto the apples of the cheek. I really, really like the way that the Lumi Glotion and the face and body together, that finish is really, really pretty. Soft and gentle, just as a, a highlight. This also has that slight frosted pigment, so it just adds to the luminosity. Kids are home. Add in my beauty mark. Alright, so I just applied my beauty marks back because I don't want it to look like I put foundation over it. And that's a dead giveaway when you can see just like a faded beauty mark. So I just picked up 
because in my last video I used the cobalt blue and I really really liked it so instead of using a black mascara I really wanted to try a burgundy so I picked up the burgundy version so this is the first time I'm using it so I'll let you know how I think So far it's really nice. It's just a subtle burgundy so you don't look rabid. <laughs> but I know I can build it up because it is acting just like the cobalt blue one. It's like grabbing the lash really nice and applying it really nice. Ooh, that was a really good mascara. I love color mascaras because I don't wear a lot of color but I do like to play with color theory so something that has a burgundy or red undertone is gonna pull out any of the greens in your eyes I have hazel eyes so they change with whatever colors are close to it but for every day if you just want to add in that little bit of color, color mascara is great. And the more that you build them up, the more color that will come up. The last thing we're going to do is the lip. I think this is such a classic look, just like pulled back hair, not a lot going on on the eyes, just lashes, um, good skin, and the focus to be on that lip. I'm going to use Cherry Lip Pencil for MAC. I have slightly thinner lips so I always overdraw. Mm. Good enough. And one of my favorite makeup lines is Sugar Pill. So I'm going to use this color called Nurse. Such a beautiful red. That's a matte, so, but I want this to be a little bit glossier to go along with the luminosity of the skin. I'm gonna add in a little bit of gloss. I really gotta get a better system on this. This is how well I take care of my stuff. It's not good. I am in the market for a new gloss. I like something that's sticky so that it stays. I can feel it like on my lips and, be and it also doesn't um, break down the lipstick. Why am I talking so much with my hands? Uh, it doesn't break down the lipstick as much so it lasts longer. So if you guys have any recommendations of your favorite lip glosses, um, please let me know. Of course it's in front of me. Nice. You can put it a little bit on the back of your hand and then go into it and apply it with the lip brush or your um, fingers, but I just keep on adding color into the clear one so it looks really gross. But I don't care. So that is the look for today. Oh, I forgot one thing. Mm -mm -mm. Not tested for the eye area, but I'm a sucker for a good time. I like, since I didn't put any shadows on my lids, I like to apply a little bit of the gloss. And then that way, since you're not putting any color down or any product, um, throughout the day, it's 
not going to break down the shadows or start leaking down your eye. You don't need a lot of it. Now you mainly focus on the, like the center of the lid. Don't put a lot because you don't want it leaking into your eyeball. I'm not condoning this in any way. This is what I get paid the big bucks for. And just on the lid, it's a, it's a nice little surprise when the light catches it, like, ooh, gloves. And then I'm not gonna put a lot on, or any gloss on my skin because it that has that different texture of frost. So it's pretty to see, oh, I wanna get ready with you. Um, it's pretty, <laughs> I, I find it interesting when it's uh, different types of, uh, highlighting textures so going from like a matter skin even though it has that frost to a glass like or glossy effect in certain areas I think is really cool that way you can play with texture rather than color if you're not somebody that wants to do a ton of eyeshadows or then this is a, a pretty easy cool look I think now I'm gonna go pick out an outfit and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the finished look for the makeup. Hair back in ponytail. Uh, this I thrifted off of Thread Up. It's from White House Black Market. I think I got it for like five or eight dollars. Um, but she was known for her classic silhouettes always see her in a pair of jeans, black top, and some loafers. Other kids are coming up. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time with something else. Unless you guys have any ideas, I'd love to hear your comments. So if there is a, a makeup look or any other kind of content that you would like me to do, I would love to hear it, and I would love to do it. Um, thanks again.